Hello everyone, this is Masuma, B.Sc. Zoology, Sirsaid College. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic Order Proboscidea. Order Proboscidea comes under the class Mammalia. Let's begin. Proboscidea is a group of ungulate mammals, which means hoofed mammals, distantly related to sea cows and still more distantly related to hyracoidea. It includes elephants, mammoths, mastodon and their allies. Proboscideans are the largest land mammals ever to have existed. Presently, elephants are the largest of all living land animals. Proboscideans have present persistently primitive features such as typically pendidactyl hand and foot, paired precavals and abdominal testis. Now, let's move to the one of the member of this order, elephants. Elephants are the largest living terrestrial animals. They are easily recognized by their huge size and long proboscis or trunk. Proboscis is exceptionally extended part of the nose and the upper lip. The large and heavy body of elephant is covered by thick, rough and almost hairless hide. Legs are long, thick, cylindrical and pillar-like. Their dentition is lophodont. Tuskless males are called mucknuts. The proboscis of elephant is most remarkable. It may grow as long as 2.5 meter. It serves the function of hand, arm, nose and lips. In legs, there are five very short digits in each foot united by a whip. The progression is digitigrade or semi-plantigrade. The normal gestation period of elephant is 22 months. Only one young one is born at a time. Growth is slow. Elephants are sociable and they have an elaborate social life. They move in herds. When danger threatens, males quickly form a circle to protect the weaker elephants. If a member of herd is sick, the entire herd will stop moving until it is well again. A wounded member may be helped by others. If one gets tapped, the other will try to release it. The present-day elephant include two species of African elephants and two species of Asiatic elephants. The African species are Loxodonta africana, African savanna elephant, and Loxodonta cyclotis, African forest elephant. Elephas maximus indicus, the Asiatic or Indian elephant, and Elephas maximus borneensis, the Bornean pygmy elephant, are the Asiatic species. Now let's look in detail. African savanna elephant. African savanna elephant is larger than Indian elephant. It is round head, very large earlobes, two finger processes at the tip of the trunk. The average length of tusk is 1.8 meter or less and its average weight is not more than 20 kg. The average weight of the bull is 6 tons. The last molar of the African elephants have 10 transverse plates. African elephant feed on bark leaves, roots and fruits. Next is Indian Asiatic elephant. Indian elephants stand distant from the African elephants in several features. It have two prominences at the top of the head. It is smaller than African elephant. Tusk two are smaller. The longest tusk measured is 2.6 meter. In Indian elephants, the last molar has 24 plates. Bamboo and certain other grasses forms the staple food of Indian elephant. Now, let's look at the differences between African and Indian elephants. In Indian elephant, size is smaller and back is arced, while African elephants have larger in size and back is depressed. The pinnae are medium sized and trunk is larger in Indian elephants. The pinnae are large sized and trunk is smaller in African elephants. The head of the Indian elephants are round and forehead are concave, while in African, head is sloping and forehead is convex. Molar have parallel ridges and the other molar have diamond shaped ridges. In Indian elephants, five nails on the front foot. In African elephants, three nails on the hind foot. So this is all about the order Proboscidea. Uh, let's stop here. Thank you.